Hello friends, my name is Julie and I'm one of Christian Assembly's Kingdom Partners and it's a privilege to be able to send this message to you today. I pray that in these challenging times that continue for really everyone everywhere, that God will continue to give us strength and courage and faith and that we'll be reminded um, daily just of God's goodness. Our reading for today, it comes from Isaiah chapter 8 and I encourage you to read the chapter I want to look at one phrase within the chapter and it's from verse 17 and it says, and I will wait upon the Lord. And it's a phrase that's actually used in scriptures a lot, what it means to wait, to be patient, to, um, to long for something that isn't available to us today. But I think sometimes, often, I have associated waiting on the Lord with waiting on God for what he may give, waiting on God for a certain situation to change, waiting on God for something that I'm asking for. Now, I think that's one aspect of waiting on God, of not getting ahead of the plans that he has, not getting ahead of where God is working today. And as God being a good father, it says that he longs for us, you know, to ask and to keep seeking, and that he longs to give good gifts to us. So I think that's one aspect of waiting. But I think there's another aspect that isn't actually dependent on what God may or may not choose to do, what God may or may not give to us, what if the healing comes or doesn't come, if the job situation changes or doesn't, if the... Um, you know, the clarity that we're seeking, whether we find it or not. But what about waiting on God because we long for relationship for God, with God. We long for God to show up, not just to change a situation, not just to break through in certain areas of our lives, but because we are waiting because we want to meet with God. We know that if he will show up, that he will be enough, whether the situation changes or not. And that's what I've been thinking about this week as I've been looking at this chapter is, is just this phrase of, you know, I will wait upon the Lord. And then it led me to Isaiah 40, um, verse 31, which is a familiar passage and for probably many people, but it says that, um, but for those who wait on the Lord, it doesn't say that he will give you what you've asked for. He will do what you're hoping for. It says that he shall renew their strength, that they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And so I encourage you today to keep waiting on the Lord. Yes, let's keep leaning in and asking God for breakthrough, for justice, for mercy. And let's just show up wanting to meet with God and wait for him. And perhaps he's already waiting for us. So be encouraged, friends.